Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is a quick setup guide on your HP Color LaserJet Pro MFP M182 through the M185 series printers, but this will work for most of your Color LaserJet printers anyway. So let's get to the video, let's check it out. Be sure and give me a big like or a thumbs up. It really helps me out. So one thing that you'll want to know is the setup guide is going to be very similar whether you're using the supplied USB cable or whether you're going strictly wireless. You're still going to need to download those drivers and the software to get this printer working. As far as your printer setup goes, you just want to be sure and pull off all the orange tabs that were included during shipping. Keep anything from jostling around. You got your one on your scanner on your top. You want to open up the front of the printer. Make sure there's no tabs on any of these guys. It's got all of your color cartridges all built right in. Looks like those are literally all ready to go. You want to check your paper tray. They don't have any tabs in there. So I think other than plugging this in and setting it up on wireless, we're pretty much ready to go as far as the next stage. And then just peel off the little LCD panel here. As far as printing goes, we'll plug in our power cable. We're not going to plug this directly into a computer. We're going to just put this on wireless. Plug in power. Hit the old power button. LCD screen's coming up. We'll just have to add it to our network. Make some noise, probably gonna yell at us and say it's out of paper. Grab some paper. Load that up into the printer. Up open your tray. You have to expand out your printer tray here. Drop your paper in there. It says what language. You go ahead and select your language. Try one. English, yes. USA, yes, of course. Yes. Calibrating. So it says it's ready here. It gives you a little color chart. Black, blue, red, and yellow here at the top. Gonna just say okay. Uh, we wanna do wireless, so I'm gonna go hit the little wireless thing. Hit okay there. We want wireless on on saving settings please wait next up go to one of the computers in your house open up a web browser type in 123.hp.com this is where we're going to download the drivers and the setup software to make your new printer work Once you go to the HP website, down below you'll put in your printer, make and model, and then you'll do the search, or it will automatically search for you. Next, you'll come up to a screen that gives you the option of Install HP Smart. Go ahead and click on that button. After you click on the Install HP Smart button, it'll come up with another screen 
and it'll ask you if you want to open the Windows app. Go ahead and click on that button. And then you'll select download a new printer. And then you'll go through the steps to add your new printer to the wireless network. Once you've done this in the upper left corner, your new printer will show up right there. You go ahead and select that. Hit setup. And just continue on. You have to put in your Wi-Fi password, get it onto your network, and this will add your new printer to your network. Right there it says starting printer setup, join network, and then finish connections. All right, it says printer found, printer configured, getting printer address, joining the network, and then finally it will say finish connections. All right, it's coming back saying that printer has been connected to your Wi-Fi network. You can see right there, it's joined my uh, 5G network, Skynet 5G. We're gonna say continue right here. And once again, I did have to download and install the HP Smart Software, but this does enable you to print from your smartphone and from your other devices throughout your house. Yes, we have to accept all, otherwise we can't use the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to auto update, whatever. It's provided myself with a uh, IP address. It might be wise to go ahead and snap a photo of your printer's IP address when that is provided. It'll show up in the little display right there. All right now it's coming back saying print from other devices, install software from 123HP to print from other mobile devices or computers. Add the printer on a new device, send link to download. Sure. So you can send this to your friends and whoever, so I'm going to send it over to my wife. She will appreciate that. I send it to myself. You got a little Teams thing there you can send it to, so that's kind of handy. All right, so setup complete, let's print. So just gonna print a little test page, see what we got here. So we're gonna set our new default to color LaserJet 182, here we go. And here she goes. And here it is, and by default, it just gives us a black and white test page, which I am thankful for, so we're not just wasting our color toners there. So, nice and crisp, looks very sharp, I like it. So our printer is showing up right there. Alright, so let's talk about printing from a cell phone. So we're going to do an iPhone here, and it's probably very similar on an Android. So to print from an iPhone, you go find a document, I'm just going to go into camera. Gonna yeah, find a document here. Select your document. Go and hit the send button. We're gonna pull up the little bottom screen here. And you have a print option right here. So you select print. And right here, you'll notice it says no printer selected. It's because I haven't done this yet. So we go and hit where it says no printer selected. Now since we've already got this printer connected to the network, it's already found the printer. So right there it says HP Color LaserJet MFP. Just go ahead and select that. Now it's asking if we want how many copies we want and if we want to print in color. So I'm going to say no, we do not want to print this in color. We're going to do one copy. And that's all there is to it, and then you just hit the print button. Simple as that. And there she goes. Hopefully this video is really helpful and you've got your printer up and running now. Be sure and leave a comment, let me know what you think of this. Give me a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Check out these other videos I've got going on, and I'll catch you guys later.